Hello everybody, Dave here, and welcome back to another Fuzzy D tutorial. Alright, so you've got a video on YouTube, a music video that you really like, and you would love to be able to put it on your phone as a ringtone. So, here we go. This is how we accomplish this. So, the first thing you're going to need is an ability to actually download and uh, save YouTube video. Uh, if you don't have like the premium YouTube service, uh, you can get a third-party tool, like I'm going to show you right here. It's called Download Helper. Now this is good for uh, Firefox and Chrome, uh, but you can use whatever program works for you. This is just the one that I use. Now uh, they have a free version that will do the job for you. Uh, the only caveat is that it will put a uh, watermark on your video, but since we're just going to be taking sound from it, it wouldn't matter anyway. I happen to have a, a paid version. It's cheap. It's donationware basically. I paid 10 bucks, and uh, it adds a whole lot of features to it that I really like. So now that I'm done plugging that, let's go back to our video here. So. Uh, I've installed it, of course, as a plugin, and I, I go up to the plugin up here, and I open it up. Uh, now I've already gone ahead and and gone through the video and figured out exactly where I want everything to start and stop for the ringtone. So that's something you would want to do ahead of time before you start this process. So we pick the video, and we're going to download and convert and instead of going with mp3 we're actually going to go with the iPhone and then I'm going to pick a place to put it and then we'll go ahead and save it and it'll take a moment to do the conversion and it'll notify us when it's done. If you want to watch what's happening you can go back up to your little bubble icon and press on the blue one and it'll show you how it's going. Now it's done downloading and now it's converting. Alright. Okay. So what we need to do now, well first of all we can minimize our browser window. I need to go where I've stored this file. I need to go where I've stored this file. Now the first thing I want to do, so it's just a little easier for me to deal with, is I'm just going to rename it. Strip out some of the stuff that the automatic downloader puts in. Okay. Now we're going to take this and we're going to drag it into our iTunes. And we just drag it in. It's a little easier than doing the import process. Okay, now we just need to go find it. Alright. So, what we want to do is right click on it. And select Get Info. And then we want to fill in some information here if we're planning on keeping it. Okay. Now we want to go to options. And now I've already determined what the start and end point is. For a ringtone you can have a maximum of 30 seconds. So 
So it's going to go from forty five seconds to a minute and fifteen seconds. And we're going to go OK. Now we're going to go up to file and we're going to create iPod or iPhone version and we'll just take a moment and now it's popped down a third the 30 second version now we're going to go back into get info and options and you just need to turn this back off so it's back to full length. So now we're going to take this one and I need to pick the location I'm going to put it. Now you could do this on your desktop but this is just the way I prefer to do things. And just drag it over here make sure you get the green plus. And then I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to encode selected video files. Okay, now up here I'm going to choose audio only. And you notice the format says AAC, which is exactly what we want. And continue. Okay, now we can take this temporary one and we can delete it. And now we take this one and we rename it. And all we have to do is change that A to an R. And it's going to give us a warning and we tell it to use the new extension. And now all we have to do is plug in our phone, so I'm just going to take a moment and plug my phone into the computer. And then I'm going to open a new finder window. In my case, I use the keyboard shortcut of Command N. And then if I scroll down the list, you'll see my iPhone. Just select that and just take a moment to load everything in and then all I do is I take this and I drag it in over top oh it didn't work hang on sometimes you got to do this a couple times to make sure you get the now it won't indicate that you've done anything here in Catalina they've taken out the menu option for ringtone but once you drop it in there it will be there and you just have to wait for it to sync back to your phone and now it will be in your phone and available and we'll go over to the phone and we'll show you how that works okay folks here we are on my iPhone and all we need to do to use our new ringtone is going to set up and go down to sounds and haptics and halfway down we'll see ringtone and now I can select the new ringtone it'll be sitting there and it's working and we're back out and we're done that's it folks it's that easy if you enjoyed this tutorial please support my channel and subscribe and if you want to be notified when the next one comes out make sure to click that notification bell and I hope to see you back soon we have tutorials coming out every few days a minimum of once a week